Hello my lovely vapies, welcome back. It's Friday so it's time to do a vape vlog. Immediate regrets. So first and foremost, I need to do this. I would like to make a public apology to Joytech and users of the Ego One and vapors everywhere because I totally fucked up. Excuse my language, but I really blew that video. See, what I had seen on the website, the Joytech's official website for the Ego One, was that there was a warning that said that if you were going to use the sub ohm coil to find a suitable battery to you know to sub ohm with so my blonde brain went what the ego one doesn't sub ohm like why would they include that if it, the battery itself doesn't turns out it does but the reason i didn't give it a try on this battery in the first place is because in my mind i thought that that was dangerous you know it wouldn't sub ohm. I didn't think it could, so I wasn't gonna just try it out, you know, with all the dangerous possibilities there are. So I just stayed away from it and assumed stupidly that the battery couldn't. I knew, like, I knew, I was like, oh my god, this does not make sense at all. Like, Joytech's an awesome company, they would not do something like this, and of course, it's my fault and my bad, and oops, and I'm sorry, and I'm human, and I make mistakes, and I just want to say I'm so sorry, Joytech. Yes, you can sub ohm with the Ego One battery and the .5 coil that the kit includes. So after I was finally able to crawl out of the hole that I wanted to hide and die in, I tried it out on the battery, the sub ohm coil, and it vapes really well. And Because this is a really tiny ego style device that sub ohms. As far as recommending it for beginners, I still don't think I would recommend sub ohming to beginners even though this looks like a beginner setup, it's just an ego battery. Now, with that being said, it does vape great, but however, I just, nothing has been able to beat the Kanger Sub Tank Mini in my opinion. That was so embarrassing. Like, I almost was like, oh, I'm done with YouTube, I can't do it. But anyways, vape vlogs aren't usually like this, so let's get on to the actual good stuff. Now, I usually kickstart these vlogs with my e-liquid of the week. So my e-liquid this week goes to Dr. Crimmy's V e-liquid. And the flavor that I really liked most, I liked all the flavors they sent me, but the flavor I liked the most was this Fruity Rings with Sweet Cream. OMG, it's Fruit Loops in a bottle with like a dollop of freaking cream and it is so good. It's my favorite. I heard a comment from one of you saying that Dr. Crimmy's V Liquid, where they where they are located, is in the East Coast where there's bad weather and so they're slow on orders right now. So if you're gonna go order, which I recommend you do, they're delicious, but just know there's gonna be a wait and my house phone is ringing. Yeah, I still have one of those. Alright, let's move on to my favorite part of this whole vape vlog. Go into your guys' questions and comments on YouTube. Looks like we're going to start out with some new vapor alerts and welcoming new vapors like Greg Pet. Four weeks vaping, no cigarettes. Yay! Congratulations. Way to go and stick with it. Meredith Haller was commenting and giving me Condolence for my grandpa's situation. Yes, he's still in the hospital. No, he has not improved. But I wanted to give a shout out. Well, not a shout out, but I wanted to send my prayers and good vibes to you, Meredith, because your grandma is ill and, and I wish her a speedy recovery. Ooh, okay, John Robertson. What kind of hardware do you use to record your videos? Um, I use a Sony Handycam. It's a really simple camera, only like $300. And then I just got these lights, so let me see if I can show you guys I got these soft boxes. I love it. Dieter Bug says, almost been a year, Sig Free. Congratulations. When's your vape anniversary? Welcome to the vape fam, Kirsten White. Kirsten Kristen. One of those. Been off the stinkies for eight days. I know it may be tough in the beginning, but just hang on there. Let me know if your streak is still going strong. Robert Molinix, been smoke free for almost two months now thanks to vape. Congratulations. Keep on vaping on. Keep on keeping on, keep on vaping on. 
We have John in the Pack, 1986. My girlfriend and I started officially vaping about three weeks ago, and after a week, I couldn't even light a cigarette. The taste and heat made me sick. That is so awesome. I'm glad that vaping is working for you guys. Alex E. was a cigarette smoker for 24 years, and he quit smoking December 24th of last year. So still a new vapor. Welcome to the vape fam. What you got? There's a reason as to why I've been using multiple different vape things in this video and you will find out when I get to that comment. Ed S. Smoke free for four months thanks to the vapor experience. That's awesome. Keep it up, man. Brian Scott is six weeks smoke free. Congratulations, Brian. Keep up the vape. Alright, just a couple new vapors and we'll move on to something else. I've been smoke-free since January 2014. Hey, that's over a year. Congratulations, Charles C. Money, for quitting smoking and staying quit for over a year now. Staying quit? Is that even staying quitted? Steve Greer, I'm off cigarettes for two weeks today and loving the vapor. Awesome. Welcome to Johnny Gatlin. Hope I'm saying your name right. Over two and a half months off the stinky sticks. Congratulations, keep it up. And last but certainly not least, we have Dan Baker, who has been off the cigarettes for five months. That's almost half a year. That is such a huge accomplishment. Keep going. Okay, now I think is an opportune time to sneak in a sneak in a sneak peek. Really, that is not how I wanted to say that, but that's how it came out. Woo woo, sneak peek. This is next week. We're gonna look at this thing. This thing. French Princess says, are you and Chris, referring to indoor smokers, going to be at the VC, going to be at the VCC Convention Center in Tampa on the 28th through the 1st? I really hope so because I would love to meet you. Well, obviously this video is going up on, what, is the 27th right now? And so, no, I won't be attending that. And I, I would really like to go to events like that. I just, it's so... It's overwhelming and it's kind of scary and I have, you know, mild social anxiety. The other day I was on my way to see my grandpa and I stopped at a vape shop real quick to pick up an extra battery and there was three ladies in there who recognized me and wanted my autograph and a picture and I've never had that happen before and so it was really, really nerve wracking and like I'm just trying to be like, you know, friendly and normal and I'm like inside going like, oh, I'm gonna die. Cause I just, I, I don't know how to handle that. I don't know how to act. But it was so cool and I am super, super flattered that it happened. But if three people can make me freaking scared, then I can't imagine what, you know, 50 people. <laughs> I'm not saying no to future events, maybe in the future. Well, I'm for sure in the future, I think I can get over it, just, I'm gonna have to take baby steps somehow. Jackie Cadwell said, I smoked my last cigarette on New Year's Eve. I turned to the e-cigarettes to help kick the habit. With the help of your videos and indoor smokers, I bought my first mod and a couple things. Just wanted to say thank you and congratulations to you and congratulations on putting down the stinky sticks. Was that your New Year's resolution? So Kathleen Daly, hope I'm saying that right, said, so NASCAR driver Mike Wallace has teamed up with a vape store to sponsor his car. I don't know I don't know NASCAR, so but I think that is so awesome that he's driving around in a car that's sponsored by uh, Crazy Vapes, I'm guessing. He ran in the Daytona 500 today, which that was posted on the 22nd. And she said, I thought you would love this. And you're right, Kathleen, I do love it. That is awesome news. You guys should go check out Dieter Bug's channel. Dieter Bug 1987, I'll put a link below. Joe Sand says, hey Tia, cool show. Have you seen the K-Box from Kanger? Of course I've seen it now in other videos. I don't actually have that in my queue right now, but I am going to look into it, of course, because it's a first Kanger box mod, so gotta check it out. Jason Fuller will be on his two-year anniversary in June. Way to go. Now, I've been getting this question a lot. People are asking me what I think about minors vaping, and I think it's wrong, and I think they shouldn't do it. Well, not like wrong, but like... It's dumb. They shouldn't do it. If they aren't smoking, don't start vaping. And don't vape until you're 18 when it's legal. And the last comment of this video that I'm going to address is from I Rock and Roll. It says I too Rock and Roll, but I know that's supposed to say look like rock and roll. Anyways, I subscribe to Trisha Paytas. I love her videos. I watch all her videos. 
and rock and I comment on commented on her most recent video today because I watched it and I love her and then someone else rock and roll commented wow I'm surprised to see you here <laughs> love your vape vids thank you and don't be surprised Trish is a beautiful blonde woman of course I'm gonna watch her so there guys I did a whole video wearing my glasses as requested it's not gonna happen again I just I don't I know they don't look bad, I just, I feel more self-conscious when I'm wearing my glasses than without, so I just, but so many people were telling me that they looked great and I should wear them if I want to, but I don't really want to, I need to, I don't want to, but I did for you guys. What is it? What is it? Okay, so this was the silliest comment I've ever heard. I was asked to do a video without nail polish on because everyone trips out, not everyone, but a lot of people trip out over the fact that I color my ring finger nail a different color every time than the rest of my fingers. And I just do that because it's, it's cute to me, it's a little trend, it's a style, and I like it. And so I usually always have my nails painted and someone's like, I wonder what Tia Vape's fingernails look like when they're not painted and this is what they look like regular fingernails but it actually works perfectly for me not to have fingernail polish on right now because right after this video I'm going to film a video for my other channel on Jamberry nail wraps and let me grab one and so that's what these these are Jamberry nail wraps and you're you put them on your nails and I'm not exactly sure but I'm going to be doing a video for it and I thought it was pretty cool. Sarah wants to know what Thing, what um, devices that I carry around in my purse with me on the go and definitely my iStick Mini goes with me everywhere. I love it. Almost everywhere. Sometimes it's not charged and then I'm not going to bring it if it's dead. But almost always in my purse is a MigSig. Like actually probably 100% of the time there is a MigSig in my purse. I have like a dozen of these batteries but they're great for a backup. Like so I bring what I really really want like my iStick Mini or the MVP version 3. But I actually don't carry this around because this is a big guy. But anyways, I'm saying I usually carry what I want the most. And then if that ha and if that should happen to die while I'm out, I always have a backup MIG SIG with a full tank ready to go in my bag just in case. Because it's not that if I leave my house without a vape, I'm like freaking out when I'm out. It's just that it's nice to know that it's there. Other than that, sometimes I can get really crazy. One time I had the iStick 50 watt, the Sigali Mini. Ooh, spoiler alert, I'll be reviewing that soon. I had my MVP version 3, the iStick and a MigSig in there because I was going to a vape shop to find a battery for the Sigali Mini and those just all happened to be in my purse at once. Usually I don't do that. But that's all the time I have for for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. You can check the description box below for important links, as well as links to my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site, like Instagram or Twitter, at Tia Vapes. I also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Tia Reviews. If you don't get enough of me here, I do have a second personal vlog channel where I upload videos of completely whatever I want. So if you want to see more of me that isn't vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes, and thank you so much for watching, guys. I swear, I'm old enough to vape. It may not look like it. Where are these pigtails?